7 and 0 for the first time since 2017. Their last and only trip to the ACC championship game. Return past the 20 yard line by Chris Johnson Jr. And all the way out to the 34. Coming out of high school about an hour south of Houston. Big run play between the tackles for Fletcher. All the way down to about the 33. From the 21 yard line, Ward throwing again. And Brown wide open again inside the five yard line and down to about the two. Fletcher walks in, touchdown, Miami. Against their rivals, Florida State, trying to keep their undefeated season going. Late at 7 0. They've had some good moments on defense this year, but that wasn't one of them. Fletcher right through the Knowles secondary, out to the 48 yard line. That's a 14 yard gain on third and one. Two pro wrestlers from the 80s and 90s. That's why it's very fitting, because that's when this rivalry was in its heyday. Second and 11, Ward stepping up, hit and sacked. He's been sacked nine times in the last three games. Florida State coming after Ward in trouble. Wallop back at the 28-yard line. Big hit by Edwin Joseph. So finally, Florida State shows a little life with three straight. Ray Ray Joseph is back. Astromano punting for the second time. Trying to pin the Canes deep. And Florida State's got three guys down there as that ball checks up and will be down inside the five. So Miami backed up inside its five-yard line. And the Canes will keep it on the ground and a ton of room straight ahead for Martinez. The Oregon State transfer who rushed for almost 1,200 yards a year ago to get to Ward. Let's see if they come after him again. They rush five. Ward from the pocket. Throws underneath. My goodness, wide open is Martinez, and he picks up a first down on third down and 20. He gets 22 yards. Run play on second and 10. Martinez breaks a tackle inside the 10. Martinez into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. To the table as the 230 pound Damian Martinez runs right through that contact as he strolls into the end zone to put the Canes up 14. Roman Hawk steps up, takes off, nice cut, and a much needed first down sliding out past the 35 yard line. Romanhawk did not look like he was ready for the snap, but he somehow breaks free. How did he get out of there? Inside the 30, inside the 20, and stumbles inside the 15-yard line. Inside the 15-yard line, can they pay it off now with a touchdown? Romanhawk rolling out, going to tuck it inside the 10. Romanhawk thrown down. Boy, looked like that was a tackle upstairs that time by Tyler Barron. Romanhawk pitches it and into the end zone for the touchdown, Kaziah Holmes. Big time response by the true freshman quarterback leading them down the field and Holmes. Be an excellent kick out block by Brian Courtney. Opens up. Mirror ball's one of the best for sure. Big third down and four. Ward from the pocket. Everybody covered. Ward backing up, now stepping up. Breaks a tackle, keeping the play alive, on the run, zipping it to the sideline where it's caught for a first down. It is Fletcher, and a first down to the 50-yard line. Cam Riley on the... Inside a minute to go now. Four-man rush instead, stepping up Ward, and his pass is high but caught for a first down by Horton, who went up the ladder. Pass play on second down. Ward hit, sat back at the 15 by Daryl Jackson, Jr. Five or six-man pressures. 
Ward gets rid of it. Quick caught inside the 20-yard line. Horton all the way down to the 12. Ward read it, got rid of it. Big play, 22 yards. Borregalis, 20-yarder. Tough angle. But he puts it through. And that ends the first half. Roman Hawk from the pocket, throws completely, pick it up. Kyle Morlock on the catch. Excellent throw that time by the freshman. Expect a handoff between the tackles. He's 232 pounds. Instead, busts it to the outside and has a first down to the 41-yard line. He's 9 of 10 on the year. This is a 42-yard try. And he buries that one way up. So Croman Hawk staying in the game at quarterback for Mike Norvell in Florida State. Off play action, taking a shot, and in stride he hits Ja'Kai Douglas. Mike Norvell not taking a chance, keeping his offense out there for fourth and four. Pressure coming up the middle, Croman Hawk gets out of there, and then finally sacked at the 42-yard line. Cam Ward starting to heat up. He's completed his last five passes. They'll run it instead. And the ball may have come out there. And he's averaging about four touchdowns per game. 24 passing, three rushing. And here comes a flea flicker. Ward looking over the middle. And it's caught by Restrepo for a first down. And again at 12. And convert on two two-point conversions. Or Gallus again perfect on the 45-yard field goal. Chance to maybe put the game away for all intents and purposes by picking up a fourth down and one. Fletcher got it easily. That'll keep the drive going for Miami. Second and 19. Ward back to throw. And Ward is going to get sacked again by Daryl Jackson Jr. He's been in the backfield. Still a chance to at least get some numbers here at the end. In under 300 yards for the first time this season. Here comes a trick play and a throwback to Ward. This will help his numbers. A touchdown catch. And his 28th touchdown responsible for. It's the tight end Elijah Arroyo with the pass. Put it right where it needs to be for Cam Ward. The job by him selling it initially, just kind of walking the other way for the rest of the season as we lead up to a 12-team playoff. On third down and long. Glenn from the pocket in trouble and sacked. Penn State team. Let the debating begin, Dave Pash. Because that's what, that's what it'll be. It'll be spirit of debate. Oh, what a run! Damian Martinez breaking free. And out of bounds at the 30-yard line. These two programs, but you could tell he was ready for this game tonight. Another great run after contact by Damian Martinez. First down to the 12. Up 22. Going to run it. And into the end zone. Damian Martinez with a walk-in touchdown to make it 35-7. Interior blocking for Miami tonight has been outstanding. Nice big hole. Going forward, if DJ Uyunglele is weeks away, do you go back to Brock Glenn, making his third straight start, and get a run here and get the first down, or do you go with Luke Cromenhawk, the true freshman who had some good moments in this game? All they could, spirited effort, limiting Cam Ward for a large part of this game. And there's a good throw by Glenn, and Amari Williams down to C makes the grab. On the rollout, Glenn has a touchdown pass to Malik Benson. And a touchdown. A great throw up the seam to Amari Williams, and now Malik Benson, his first touchdown reception as a Florida State Seminole, the transfer from Alabama. And Miami goes to 8-0 for the first time since 2017 when it started the year 10-0 and made it all the way to the ACC title game for the first time.